Four days remain in the transfer window. Let's make some magic happen. So in real life, Leeds have just signed this American attacking midfielder, Brendan Aronson from Salzburg. A lot of you guys in the comment section want me to try signing him. And you know what? I'm open to it. The only issue is we only have 1.8 million pounds. But of course, we do have a couple of players on the transfer list here that we are trying to sell. So that would easily cover that signing. And this might be an unpopular take, but if we're going to get him as our backup attacking midfielder, I am going to transfer list Rodrigo and see what offers we can get in for him. Because yes, he was okay last year. He's versatile. But if we're selling, if we're going to sign a backup attacking midfielder, we've already got Haseem Allah. We've got Billy Gilmore that can jump into the midfield. We've got players that can back up in the striker role like Gelhart. There's a lot that we can do. We have received a transfer offer though for Mauro Acardi. 39 million pounds is what I'm going to ask for here but it's 27.5 million pounds from Bayern Munich. The one year experiment of Mario Akadi could be over. Let's say 37.5, they're not gonna accept it, but they're gonna say 30.9 with a 5% selling clause. I don't wanna sell on clause for a 29 year old player. Let's go back and let's say 35 million pounds for Akadi. They're going to accept it. That is a nice little payday. Let's hope it goes through. Also, they have agreed the two-year loan move here for Amari Miller, which I'm very happy about. And there we go, lads. Just like that, Mauro Akadi is no longer a Leeds United player. We thank you for your service, my friend. You were okay for us, but Daniel James is just a different level. Transfer offer here from River Plate for Kaidi Barre. I did have a few comments in the last episode because I was calling it Bear and I wasn't certain. Barre is how I pronounce it, so I'm gonna say with Barre, but I'm definitely gonna be rejecting that one. And it's another position change here for Gasama. Let's see if he goes, he's 50 now, and he goes up to a 51. All right, on to the next position for the world's most versatile player. You know what, to be honest, I honestly think he is a winger, so I might just chuck a normal, uh, normal growth pattern on him. I couldn't find the word there. All right, but here we are on deadline day. Let's get some business done. In real life, Leeds United paid 30 million, I believe it was, for Aronson. I'm hoping to get him for much, much less. Let's put in an 8 million pound offer here for Brendan Aronson. There is not a chance. There is not a chance in the world you're getting Billy Gilmore. But let's go and let's just say 8.5 million pounds there for Aronson. They say 8.8 .8 with a 6% sell on clause. I'll say 8.8, .8, but I don't want the sell on clause. And they accept it. Let's go, lads. We might actually make it happen. Get the wages in there. Amari Miller has been loaned out here for two years, though. Hopefully, he comes back a much stronger player. Get in there, lads. You guys ask and I deliver. It is Brendan Aronson joining us here on a four-year deal. The American attacking midfielder signing from Salzburg, just like in real life. Now, this doesn't mean that every player lead sign in real life I'm going to sign in this career mode. If it makes sense and you guys want it, I strongly will consider it. And in this case, it makes sense. A young attacking midfielder who can move up as our behind, as our backup behind a seam hour. So thank you guys for the suggestion. Also, I just want to take a moment to say thank you for the support on this career mode. It's been awesome seeing you guys coming back every weekday, watching the uploads and loving the content. Going to keep it moving on. Not really getting any offers in here on deadline day. We kind of need them to come through quickly if we're going to make any more business here. Because I do want to keep some money left over for the January window so we can adjust given how the season's going. But... No, no, that's not the offer I want. Calvin Phillips, not a chance. Why do the clubs come in for the players that I have just no intentions of ever selling? Come in for Rodrigo, come in for Koch. But there we go, lads. That is going to be the opening transfer window of season number two done and dusted. It has been a busy one. We are changing this side for the best. And I'm hopeful that we can really find our stride in this second season. But this is how the starting lineup is looking as we get into the start or after the transfer window. It is a decent side. There's a lot of players though that really need to prove themselves over the course of the next few months. The bench is well here. Reserves are looking good. We've got some strong players in the reserves as well. I honestly... I might put Rodrigo on as a backup striker instead of Gelhart for the time being. Or at least just rotate them because I don't want Go Gelhart's talent to go to waste. Of course we receive a transfer offer here for Rodrigo as soon as the window closes, but let's see if we can get him out on a pre-contract deal. 17.7 is what I'm wanting. We could use him for the next few months and then get him out of the club and get money in as soon as the January window opens. So we're going to say 17.7 million pounds to send him to David Moyes' West Ham United, which they accept. Youth squad monthly report as well here. Not too many good talents, to be honest. I'm going to be honest. We've got some pretty, we've got some big stinkers in here. 
As soon as players like Barry and Garner's potential go down too much, I'm going to probably release them. Why are so many offers coming through after the transfer window? Sam Greenwood, I'm rejecting that one. I would be open to loaning him, but not... Actually, let me go put him on the loan list. See if we can get a loan move in here for Sam Greenwood before the window opens. And well, even though the summer window is shut closed, we have got a pre-deal done here. Rodrigo officially out of the club come January 1st. Kind of crazy how we got somebody 10 years younger that's only four overall less, and we got him for what? Nine million pounds less than we've sold Rodrigo. I love that. Also, I know you guys go in the comments about getting development plans on. I've essentially given every player in the squad a development plan that's gonna get their skill moves up because the quickest way to make a player overpowered in FIFA is to give them five-star skills. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at home for the opening game of today's episode. It's our first one outside of the window and we are taking on Crystal Palace in a game that I wanna win purely for confidence points. I really want to get ourselves up into that top five, top six sort of mold, being the European race really all season long. So here is a look at our starting 11 for today's game. And it is what we are similar to Mancini playing in this one. I'm so excited to see if he can really find his form in today's episode. Hasim Awal would love to get some moments with him. I just want to see the best way to play with this team, really. Interested to see if Palace have added anybody huge to their side. They've got the Croatian goalkeeper there, Livkovic, in between the sticks. Uh, they've got Anderson, who's a machine, Milivojevic, Olise, Ronnie Lopez as well on the side. So I don't know who Saloy is. They've got, I know who Edouard is, though. Sosa is an interception machine so far today. Let's make something happen because of it. It's going to be James. James with a shot and forces a good save. Come on, lads. Let's see if we can get ourselves an early lead in this one. Phillips. Swinging it in. It's a bit deep there to Kilman. Kilman's going to win the header though, but it's strained at the keeper's gloves. Put the pressure. Put the pressure. Oh my God. Got the throw in here though. We're going to go to Calvin Phillips. Nice and chill, lads. Let's pick our moment. Pick the moment. Oh, maybe this is the moment. Ow, we blasted that one. Oh, I should have gone near post. Good win. We are winning every 50-50 ball so far in this game. Ow, feeding it. Barre! Barre, follow up! Oh, you've got to finish that! Anybody but a defensive midfielder scores that! Got to defend. Got to defend. Got to defend. Got to defend. Hey, I'm just holding down A to jockey. Yes! Come on, counterattack, please. Counterattack, please. Al is going to lay this one off here to bear. Barre. Barre, feed it through to Harrison. We do. Going to go back here. I saw the man in the middle. We're going to go. James! Pass it! Our! There it is! You can't say we don't deserve that one, lads! You cannot say we don't deserve that one. We pick Palace apart on the counter-attack here. A few dodgy passes, but we have got a very well-deserved lead at Ellen Road. Don't let them get something here in stoppage time. Yes, good tackle. Just get rid of it. Good. We are defending very well. Good. Palace on the attack here to start the second half. We can't let the momentum shift. Milivojevic! Firing that one off. We're so out of shape right now. Just defend it, lads. Just defend it. Good tackle. Yes. We're defending well, man. We need a second goal, though, because I still don't trust us to keep a clean sheet. I mean, we haven't kept one once in the career mode. Harrison coming through here. Harrison, I see you, James. I'm just going to go for it, though, with Harrison off the post. No. Get the follow-up. No. Mancini going here. Come on. Playing it around. We've got some numbers. Let's feed it through. That's a great ball. Rafinha. 2-0. Let's go. You can't say we don't deserve it. We should be about 8-0 up right now. Rafinha doubles our lead in the 83rd minute. Now we just need to hold on and get ourselves a clean sheet. Goes down as an own goal to Joel Ward. Also, I'm making a substitution here. I had this lined up before the goal. Luke Ayling coming on it right back. But I think it's gone down as an own goal, not a Rafinha goal. That hurts. That's... Oh, okay. Yes, we are playing so well, man. Hasim. Play it through. James, look at the space. Crystal Palace have committed everything forward. James, I didn't want to go to Harrison, but he's onside. I thought he might have been offside. I wanted to go to Calvin Phillips, but it doesn't matter, lads. That is going to put the dagger in the heart of Crystal Palace, and we're going to come away convincing winners. Also, lads, we are going to give some stoppage time minutes here to Billy Gilmore and Brendan Aronson, both making their debuts. Blow the whistle, referee. Blow the whistle. We kept a clean sheet, lads. Oh my God, we kept a clean sheet. 
That was one of the most complete performances we've had in our entire managerial tenure at Leeds United. Could have been about 8 0. That is exactly what we were after. We have received a transfer offer here for Robin as well from Manchester United. But you know what? I'm actually going to remove him from the, the transfer list and just have him as a backup option. Have him as a cameo here and there. All right, here we go, lads. Wolves on the road, traveling to the Molyneux to take them on. Connor, uh, Connor Kilman? No, what's his name? Maximilian Kilman. With his former side up against him here. We're going to simulate this one against Wolves. And it's a one-all draw, but Calvin Phillips with a straight red card. He's going to be suspended for the next game. All right, third round of the EFL Cup here, lads. Taking on Wickham. No surprise that we are going to rock a very rotational side. Gelhart getting a go. Aronson getting a starting debut. Gilmore in there. We've got Robin Koch back in the starting 11. Palmer, Casilla. This is going to be interesting. No Akin Fenwa, of course, for Wickham Wanderers. Goodbye to the GOAT and the scoreline. How? How have we won that on penalties? Oh, my God. That is actually embarrassing that it went to penalties. But we're through to the next round of the AFL Cup by the skin of our teeth. This match is too much of a conflict of interest for me, lads. We've got my favorite team, Fulham, at home here in the Premier League looking for another result. Mitro, you know I love you, brother, but please... Please do not have a masterclass against us. We're going to quick sim here against the Cottagers. And the scoreline, it is a 1-0 win. Rafinha getting us three more points in the 38th minute. You squad monthly report here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Reggie Barry. You're doing some okay growth, but you're not going to be really anything, I don't think. Goodbye, Reggie Barry. It, could also, it almost might be time to say goodbye to uh, Ghana, but I'm going to say goodbye here to Daniel Cole. Koal, you I don't even know. Goodbye, mate. Rafinha. Up to an 87 overall. Oh my god. I mean, he has had a pretty good start to the season so far. Three goals. This is an absolutely massive challenge though, fellas, to see where we really are. It's a great barometer to see what sort of season we're having, what sort of a team we are. Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge. It's a rainy day in West London. Let's see if we can come away here with a win. Already five goals this season for Timo Werner. We're going to have to watch out for the German striker. All right, let's take a look here and see what the Chelsea lineup is looking like. A five of the back formation is just not what I want to see. Quartes with the captain's armband in there. Have they signed anybody at the moment? It looks like Quartes is the only one. Lukaku playing attacking mid with Mason Mount and Timo Werner playing striker. Right, yo. Nicolo Zaniolo and Asensio on the bench I saw though, which is a bit of a concern. Anyways, here's our side. It's no surprise I'm rolling with the exact same starting lineup that took down Palace 3-0. They got the job done in that game, and I am very hopeful that we can get close to, if not do the same thing here. Nice pass there from Barre. I see you, James. I might just feed this one through to James. Let the rain do its thing! James! Oh, that is brilliant! We undercook the pass because we know it is raining out here in West London. And that has been put on a silver platter for Daniel James, who picks up his third goal of the season. That is why we signed Auer. That is absolute. That's not even Auer. That's Calvin Phillips to play the ball. Calvin Phillips with the assist of doom. And we have got ourselves a shock lead here at Stamford Bridge. Come on. Timo Werner. We can let... Let's get to Kilman defend against... No, don't let him... Yes, good tackle. Goal kick, yes. Come on, let's quick one, two. Bit of space here. Our always seems to have a lot of space, which I'm a big fan of. Harrison, though, overlapping ball here to Sosa. Let's put the early ball in. I want a little... Oh, it's still... Harrison! Oh, my God! I don't know how that one's fallen to him, but oh, my goodness gracious me. We are out of shape here, lads. Oh, we needed that tackle. No, now I've pushed up with Sosa. Defend. Havertz up against Kilman. That's a poor pass and we'll take it. Get rid of it. Good. No. One minute. Do not let them get anything here. Just get rid of the ball. Phillips. Yes. No. Make that tackle. Yes, Mancini. Oh, we are putting in a shift defensively so far. Yes. Chelsea's passing play has been so poor in this one. But you know what? I'm not complaining. Rafinha. Go on here. Let's get a little one-two. Look at that space. Barre's always popping up in these sort of positions, isn't he? James, going to go here. I've got players out wide. Going to go around. Aller. Oh, that was terrible, Jared. Got, still got possession, though. Come on, we need a second goal. Aller. Oh, you've got to score that one. Oh, we're not going to get opportunities like that all the time. I've got to convert on those ones. Bloody hell. Got to defend. Yes, good tackle, Mancini. Man, I feel like we've turned a corner. I don't want to jinx it, but we are playing some good footy today. Keep it going. Breuer again. 
Get it. Yes. This is good. Counterattack, maybe. I mean, we've got no numbers up here, but let's see what we can do. James, holding it up beautifully. This is good footy. Come on. Phillips, I see I see Rafinha, but we're going to go here. Awa. 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 Forcing the save out of Mendy. Werner, we're just defending here. Don't let them hit us on the counter. Do not. Do not. Defend. Defend. Get rid. No. Offside. No, he's onside. So, so defend. Kante off the bench. Just defend. Good block. Get to it. Why would Use the L1 button. I'm fucking hitting the L1 trying to bring somebody up to win that 50-50. All right, lads. We're going to make a double sub here. Sosa's absolutely knackered. So we're going to bring him off and bring on Marcelo. Also, we're going to bring on Billy Gilmore. Subbing off our... Gilmore's going to slide down into a center midfield role. And then James is going to go down and center forward. Need to defend here, lads. Werner. Ball being played around. Good. Just hold on to possession. No. What is that touch? No! What is that touch? No! Oh, what a save, Millier! Millier, that is a massive save, brother! What was that first touch from Mancini, though? Oh my goodness gracious me, that is a save and a half. We need to get this one away. We need to get this one away. Clear the ball, Marcelo. Heads it, no, not straight to Thiago Silva. Defend. Focus up, lads, focus up. Just get one more defensive clearance and we win this game. One more clearance, not Breuer. Just defend! Defend! Clear it! Clear it! Blow the whistle! Come on, Leeds! Let's go! That is a massive win! That is a huge win! Three points on the road! Two clean sheets in a row! We have turned the corner, surely!